let's move on to the next group which is akash school education managed by mrs kiran khosla the first project is virtual labs mentored by mr charu choudhury the project is designed to provide a portal for teachers and students which can emulate laboratory experiments in a virtual environment team please come forward uh all right good evening guys uh i like to uh, we are from the akash school education group so what our project is about is virtual labs or as we have named it as uh, virtualis yeah uh, i like to introduce my team first uh, mahipal uh, anish uh, sandeep and animesh and myself hashtosh uh, the five of us along with our mentors uh, ms charu and uh, mr mohan worked on this project right so let's move on what is virtualis about or what was our plan initially uh, we thought of uh let's look at remote schools schools in villages what if they can't uh, they don't have access to say labs they can't afford the equipment or something like that rural schools right and is there a way to bring labs to them so that they can actually implement and follow the courses uh we thought about this and we think yes we have implemented such a system right so what is virtualis about what we have made is a web portal uh what is a web portal it it has all the database and the online versions of uh, uploading experiments or basically one entire lab program or anything anything regarding that and with that uh, specifically for the akash because it's on the akash tablets uh, we have a synced android app made for the akash tablet but it can run on any uh, android device with gingerbread onwards right so in that now if we look into the experiments we have all lab experiments in within lab experiments uh, initially our project aim was just using class 9 as uh, you know just as if now let's just begin with class 9 but then we thought of making all this generic so you can uh, you, we are allowing multiple classes multiple subjects any number of experiments within experiments our two main features are evaluative quiz and a simulation so that a person can even test what he has learned right evaluate himself how good is he uh, let's move on in depth into the web portal right so like i said earlier web portal is about multiple classes subjects experiments now in the web uh, we have three distinct or unique people right so one is obviously students who are viewing the content or anyone for that matter then we have contributors right around the globe if they have experiments to give teachers in different positions they can just upload experiments if they have the relevant uh, relevant data and reviewers uh for basically just going through is everything appropriately done is the experiment perfect there's no error in that and then he can go ahead and uh make it available for students right so now we have the upload feature of course and uh for uploading experiments it gets reviewed and then it moves on to the view right students can view it apart from that in the web portal we have things like if you're facing problems there are faqs so frequently uh, asked questions will show up if your problem is there fine go ahead else if you have some other issues possibly you need some additional features in the thing site uh you can contact the admin directly so uh, i'll just show you this is the site you can change classes initially itself so what we wanted was i mean looking from the aspect of a student right uh you are in class 8 or class 9 you'll just use it initially you won't be changing it again and again so you change it you move inside these are all the experiments uh right now this was logged in as a contributor so he he uploads one experiment and then it goes on to the reviewer we logged in as reviewer and it's it's available for the review as you can see approve experiment thing is there on the left hand corner right uh faqs as shown and then the contact us so directly you can just enter the message and you don't have there, there, there are no hassles with sending emails and all that and then the downloads right so our, our apk file for the app it's we have put it we have made it available on the server along with uh, other feature simulation thing which i'll be talking on later so these are the supporting files uh, to access our all our features basically right now let's move in depth into the experiment data in the data uh, we have the theory of the experiment so any experiment has some theory go ahead put some pictures uh, put the data whatever again go ahead and put the procedure then uh, if you have any video links you saw something great on youtube right you can just give in the links as well now uh, comes uh, the two main things the evaluative quiz and uh, the simulations 
uh, simulations, again, there are two types, the interactive one and the blender animation. Uh, each of these uh, I will be taking in depth uh, in later slides. Now uh, again, yeah, I will just show you these things. This is how it looks like from the uploading point of view, the experiment uh, and all, sorry, viewing point of view. So these are the list of experiments if a person goes in physics, we just uploaded some dummy experiments here. And theory, anything, uh, procedure, again, uh, videos, simulation and quiz, yeah. Now, one major thing about uploading an experiment. Now, definitely uploading an experiment is a major part, right, because otherwise you can't view it. So, uh, what we thought is we should make it as simple as possible for the contributor. It, it shouldn't be any hassles with him, right, it shouldn't be painstaking. So, uh, I'd like to show that. What we have done is here, this is actually the site. So, this is the upload page, right, upload experiment. So, you can upload, you can add all the details. For example, if you're uploading theory here, right, so, what we have implemented is uh, a complete copy paste feature of any web page. So, you don't have to take time to upload separate images or something like that. It takes care of itself. Things like, uh, I'll just move on to something. Yeah, let's see this for example. So, I found this thing, some great text. Let me copy this as it is, and I can just directly paste it. Everything takes care of itself. The picture is positioning everything. So, it's just a copy paste feature. So, that makes uploading it very easy. Now, the quiz. Uh, in the quiz, we, uh, we are using basically a Moodle GIF format. So, what is uh, the GIF format? It's basically, it's a TXT file, right? It's, it's not uh, special as such, but then it's just a, uh, it's a format which is followed, which makes uh, assigning everything relevant to a quiz question. Things like feedback, multiple answers, points, weights, weights for separate things, uh, partial answering. All those things can be specified in one format uh, very beautifully again. So, uh, we have implemented seven formats out of these. Basically, we have covered uh, basically most, most of the formats which can be asked in a quiz question, right? In that, now what happens is you can perform the experiment online. Now, online and on the app, the app again will be talking later. Uh, basically, I just want to add that the app is completely synced. So, whatever you can perform here on the web portal can be performed there on the app. So, we can perform the experiment, or sorry, the quiz, do it, and then we'll get a summary report of all the correct answers, the feedbacks provided. If you, if you know uh, things weren't perfectly correct, they were just partially correct. You get all the feedback in in a summary report. So this was a quiz part. Uh, some snapshots of quiz. This is uh, the summary which is generated, right? Each question wise. Uh, yeah. Now let's move on to simulation. So again, performing the experiment as though you are doing it in the lab, uh, practically. So, this took a lot of thinking, as in we had to come up with some system uh, where we can actually perform, uh, you know, a mass, may maybe not all kinds of questions, maybe not all kinds of lab experiments, but uh, a great number of questions. So, what happens is, we have uh, in the online part, when our contributor is uploading the experiment, he can generate the simulation, right? And that, like I uh, told you guys earlier, we have two things, basically interactive simulation and the blender simulation. So, if you have a blender file already, so that's, that's no hassles again, you can just upload that. But if you don't have one and you think maybe you can use this system to create a simulation, we can go ahead. So, this is how a contributor's part looks like. You have uh, some images which are provided and then you can just click them, you can add images, you can, their functionality is like moving the image across the page, uh, scaling them, rotating them, changing them, deleting things in a way that which can be uh, presented as a simulation. Uh, then you can go ahead and generate, after your, uh, you can confirm it and then you can go ahead and generate the CSV. I will just show how it looks like. So, this is how the contributors looks like. If I add this, I add it, this appeared, right. Let us just go ahead and uh, we expand it, we can rotate it. Uh, we can add something like a line, we add more things. If I want, I can delete this. So, basically something which will create the simulation. Now, if I am checking, now before generating the file of the simulation, I can just check what is being done till now. Whatever I did is recorded and it is just simulated for me, I am happy with it, let us go ahead and generate it, right, so, uh, make it available for the students. Yeah. So, that is, uh, again, in the, there was complete simulation and step simulation, just for reviewing. Uh, now, this is from the student's point of view. Uh, when the student is actually viewing the experiment, there were three modes in that. 
we have complete simulation, we have step simulation, and we have a ghost mode. So a complete simulation is basically a complete run through. This is complete simulation, basically. I'm just running one file. Uh, again, it's uh, we tried to show Ohm's law. Again, it's a dummy file. So this is a complete simulation, and uh, it, you can just do a run through. If if it was fast for you or something, the student can just go for step simulation or you know, and then do it stepwise, one by one. Then the interactive part came in. If I am, uh, what if I want to perform this? You know, a, a little more level of interactivity. So I go for ghost. So what it does is, it it does it basically goes one step ahead of the student always. It'll do something in as you can see uh, in a little dull shade transparency, and then the student has to replicate that step. If he does something else, it, it won't accept. So it was again a step by step thing, and then when he places it correctly with a 10% error or something, the next thing is generated, the next part, and then he has to just go ahead and replicate that again. So things like that. So this was a simulation. Uh, yeah, now let's go on to the Android app. The Android app now is uh, in real time, it's completely synced with the database on, uh, on my web portal, right? So what happens is I can view all content, again I can view theory, I can view procedure, videos, uh, do the simulation again in all three modes, do the evaluative quiz, get the summary report in any way I want, right? Uh, I can now say some changes were made in the web portal, I can go ahead and update the experiment if I want, uh, delete the experiment as such, and yeah, do the quiz, run the simulation. So this is how our app looks like, uh, labs on the fly. So when you enter, uh, I'll go back here. So you have two, right now anyways, let me just speak about online mode. So I go into the online mode, I get the list of experiments chosen, uh, the subjects and the experiments just now in the database. Go ahead, uh, this chemistry. Now, when I click on one sub, one experiment, I get, I open this thing which is loading uh, again the data from the server and it shows everything, theory, procedure, videos, uh, then the simulation, yeah, and the quiz, right. Now, let's go into the quiz part. This is how quiz starts. Again, one by one, you can answer the questions. You can give in your response, and then a summary report is generated. How many questions did you answer? How many you got wrong? What are the correct answers? Everything related to that. What are the feedbacks provided? Maybe you got uh, an incorrect answer, but it was close enough. So any feedback which is provided. Yeah, now uh, another thing which, like I said, update the experiment. Now this part starts the offline uh, case, basically. So what we had thought of was, uh, now see, from a student's point of view, I'm talking about practically using this app. Uh, now I have, I'm viewing an experiment, right? And I'm going to give an exam, I'm traveling on the bus or something, and now, now the app is showing me I've lost connectivity, so I can't proceed, right? So how about saving the entire experiment without using much space in your local storage again? So we have implemented this entire offline feature. So you can go ahead and save the experiment. This is in the online mode. You can save the experiment up here. As soon as you save it, you'll get options to delete and update, right? Then you can go ahead and delete it if you want. Now what happens is we went back, and if you notice, we got the view saved experiment thing. This is again in the online mode, the initial online mode. So again, looking from the user's point of view, for easeability, it's like I went into the online view, but maybe uh, this experiment already exists in my local storage, right? So why will I want to use data again to load the experiment? So let's, we're giving him a feature to, if he clicks that, from the online, he can directly switch to the offline view and load the experiment. And again, when he goes back, he's again in the online view. So he's saving data, right? Uh, so we go here. This is the offline experiment. As you can see on the top right corner, it shows offline. And uh, now let's go into the, uh, so we basically discussed two modes, online, 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 offline, right? Now this is the full offline mode. If you're, you don't have net connectivity at all, you can just go ahead and see all your uh, experiments, basically, yeah. Uh, future scope of this project, definitely uh, this entire system which we have given, we can add, it's, it's scalable, it, lots of things can be added into this. Uh, language localization is one thing for students across you know, different regions, uh, in their native languages probably. And uh, more functions are simulation, definitely. So what happens is, uh, right now we have given very basic features. We can uh, simulate all uh, circuits and all those things. But if we talk about chemistry experiments like pouring, showing uh, a fire or something, Bunsen burner, showing, showing something changing color, 
right? Things like that can definitely be added. Then for adding quizzes on the contributor's point of view, again, uh, he was uploading the GIF format, right? Uh, let's, we can go one step further and make it easier for him. Give him an, a form, basically, where he can just fill in the details and automatically create the GIF format and save it. So making it easier for him. A contributor module in Android app, uh, wherein right now we just have contributor for the web portal, right? So we can add this. And student profiles. Right now everything was just self-evaluation. How about making, going to the next level and making this uh, a kind of competition, for example. Uh, checking how other people performed in the quiz. Things like that, we can have student profile. Uh, challenges faced into, in this experiment was uh, simulation to actually come up with the different ideas which are possible. Then uh, definitely the sync between the web and Android. And uh, quiz parsing the GIF format is, was very painstaking, definitely. And the entire content management system which was created on the web portal. What we learned in this process, yes, uh, teamwork, new technologies, latex for documentation, stuff like that, Android mode. Yeah, we'll be happy to answer any questions. 20,000 LOC, I understand. Not an issue. Okay, what is 92 pages? Documentation. What documentation? This uh, one? The report which you had to submit. Report? Right. That doesn't have to be written. What is nine repos? Uh, our GitHub repos to show different, uh, basically the version, how, how and we, you know, we proceed. So your 20,000 lines of code yeah. are divided into nine folders? Yeah. Okay. And then it was later integrated into one. Seven contributors? Five. Five and our mentors. Two platforms? Android and the web.